hello friend where are we Mars no we're in Death Valley and I've already seen a lot of photos that I want to get and I'm only here for a short time this afternoon tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon and by the signs of my heavy breathing and having to uh, loosen the old waist belt I'd say I'm pretty out of shape which does not bode well but we carry on nonetheless um, really focusing on the exposed earth of Death Valley this trip trying to get a lot of photos and I've already seen several that I want to get just exploring this area trying to scout out exactly what I want and I think I've hit the mother load one of my favorite things about photographing in Death Valley were the layers and textures and colors that all seem to come together when you're photographing with a telephoto lens. And I loved how these shapes just lined up perfectly in one of the canyons. I think we're quite lucky today, actually. And this is only my second trip to Death Valley. So it's not like I'm some kind of expert by any means. But, I've personally never seen it in an overcast day. Um, so seeing it like this, you know, half the sky is not very overcast, but this, what I'm facing and what I'm photographing is an overcast. And a lot of these just really cool tones are coming out of the hills behind me. Uh, and I'm just taking my 70 to 200 and just trying to clip off some shots and uh, see what I get. So far, I'm really pleased and uh, happy how it's turning out. Hoping for five good shots here. Um, so yeah, we shall see. So I always want to share photos that don't work as well as the ones that do. And in this photo in particular, it doesn't work. Yeah, I have a leading line in the bottom with the mountain going somewhere, but it goes to a dominant dark mountain instead of the bright colorful ones. You know, it's funny. I never quite realized or experienced the expression of something stopping you right in your tracks. Until that is, I started doing photography and especially slow photography and just having zero expectations for what you're going to find. And I was just hiking back to the car actually and found this little wash and I was watching <coughs> the patterns down at my feet and then came across this rock and it's one of those things that you literally it for me at least when i see something like this i just stop and have to photograph it it makes me say wow it has so many colors and textures and designs to it and if i'm doing something like this that can be such a simplistic shot um, what I try to do is find like the contrasting point, the juxtaposition of what's going on within the design itself. So I started seeing like this crack here that swoops through and separates these smaller cracks and these bigger cracks and also lighter and darker and just been playing around with that some. Um, and who knows? I mean, I may stay here. These cracks go all the way up. It's just this really loose rock that's barely hanging on. But I could stay here five minutes. I could stay here an hour. I shot here for a long time and I just loved how the shapes and designs lined up and, and paired in contrast with one another. You know, to finish up today's video, I'm just going to leave you with this. Since my emergency and when it seemed like for me that photography was really taken away from me for a long time, um, <clears throat> I honestly sat and pondered things like, is it even worth it? Um, I still worry about the backpack strap on my shoulder. Is it compressing the veins that had the blood clots in them? And whether that has any merit to it or not, I have no idea, honestly. Uh, it's just something that I always worry about, but neither here nor there. Um, one thing 
that I've told myself when I started back was stop taking it so seriously. Um, stop letting it control your emotions for like tonight. I had pretty high hopes uh, about this location at Badwater in Death Valley and didn't really work out. And normally I'd be pretty bummed, you know, I've been up now since 1.45 a.m. my time. Uh, it's 11.45 p.m. this time in Pacific. Uh, so I'm closing in on, you know, 20 hours. It'll be pretty soon. So <clears throat> typically I'd be pretty bummed about not getting this shot. But now I, I think back to you know, what really matters. Um, think back to how it felt when I wasn't able to do photography and was more frustrated about that than getting a shot or not. Um, so, you know, look, hey, I'm rambling here. I think what I'm trying to say is just do me a favor. Don't take it so, so seriously. Um, Cause look where we are. I mean, and do you hear that? It's so quiet that it's just deafening. It, it literally hurts your ears, it's so quiet out here. And it's beautiful. You have the mountains that are capped in snow in the background and just enjoy, just enjoy it. Enjoy life, enjoy being out. Um, do what makes you happy. And yeah, that's kind of what I've learned through this whole ordeal. And I do really appreciate all the comments uh, in the past few videos. Um, hmm, tearing up a little, was not expecting that. Um, it really means a lot to me that you guys, you know, wanted me to start doing these again. Uh, that That's very encouraging and extremely humbling at the same time. So thank you for that. I will keep doing them as long as I am able and as long as they're fun. And I know with you guys here, they're gonna stay fun. So promise me not to take photography so seriously and it will reap benefits in the long run. Trust me. See you guys next week.